was cold in there, of course, but uh, keeps the circulation in the hands. Well, I just caught the yellow there. The white's come over this side of the table. And this red is on. Sullivan four. Well, he could have hit that a good quarter ballish. There was no need to aim for such a fine cut. I don't think there's anything there for Ronnie. Surprise us all. Well, he took a long time deciding whether to take it on or not. There wasn't a lot of room, obviously, but a good shot. From a vantage point, it didn't look as though it would go. Yeah, sure. Ronnie did an amazing demolition job on. Stephen Hendry, no less, as uh, Ray Reardon, six times world champion, watches his protege. Ronnie beat Stephen 17 frames to four, and all the years I've watched Stephen, I've never seen him sitting in his chair for Five. such long periods. Six. Graham Dot, on the other hand, had quite a tussle against Matthew Stevens, eventually beating the Welshman 17 frames to 14, uh, 15, I beg your pardon. 13. Fourteen. Twenty one. Twenty two. Oh, that's nice. Twenty nine. Set it up, and I'm amazed he missed that one. taking it all in good part, knowing that at this stage there are 10 frames remaining and he needs to win them all. But he's done so well to get to this final grand dot. Yes, guaranteed his biggest ever pay check, £125,000.
Well, Graham knows that the game's up, so to speak, sooner or later. Ronnie is going to get his 18th frame and clinch the title for the second time. Mm, well, obviously, it's just a question of when rather than if. One. Could be this frame. We don't know. Might go into another one. But a good red for Ronnie to the middle there. Leaving himself perfectly on the black. He's played some phenomenal snooker through this championship. He really has. He's destroyed a couple of top players. Let's. Um, Eight. Let's just uh, make no bones about that. Anthony Hamilton, he beat 13-3. And of course, then Stephen in the semi-final was 17-4. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Won't get a better chance than this. Twenty-four. Well, it's got to be said, he's 25. flown through this championship, Ronnie. He's won matches with sessions to spare. He's been head and shoulders above everybody. He really has. It's been an exhibition. 32. Of top class match snooker. 33. Yes, and in some ways a little frustrating for this final crowd in as much as they started the evening at 16 frames to 8 with Ronnie. Oh, he's missed that ping. <laughs> I can't believe Ronnie that. Sullivan, 33. With Ronnie just needing two more for victory and it looks like they're going to be cheated out of their evening's entertainment well in that, some respects that's unbelievable that pink was frame and match ball it was indeed frame match and championship so still a chance for graham to prolong this match a fraction longer Eight. The last frame he won was frame 19. This is frame 26. It's been a bleak time for Graham since those early heady days when he took the first five frames in a row. Nine. We've still got the problem with the red and the pink. He's got a good angle 16. here to chip this red in and try and move those. I think it'll stay on the black boat. Graham oh. dot 16. They're always a little tricky going down the road like that. Okay, settle down, please. <coughs> yeah, sure. So, Ronnie looking for one red here to take him past the snooker's required position for Graham and I think Graham realises that this is probably it one Well, he, he knows now that he's done it. Oh, that was a clever little shot. 14. Left-handed. That doesn't make much difference to Ronnie. Come on, gents, please. 15. Paul Collier refereeing his first final, endeavouring to keep this exuberant crowd under some sort of control. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter, of course, 22. but of course... He wants to try and keep order. Left-handed again, he's well. missed that one. 
But that's it, and the handshake comes. And Ronnie O'Sullivan defeats Graham Dot by 18 frames to eight to lift the 2004 Embassy World Snooker Championship. The second time that Ronnie has won this title three years after the first. Oh, that's his mum, Maria, hugging him there. And uh, was well, a very proud mum, of course.